Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you what Safari looks like on the iPad. So here I am in my iPad simulator. As you can see, my background is different than the default. Um, if you want to change your wallpaper for either the iPhone simulator or the iPad simulator, I'll put instructions in the description for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and open Safari. Alright, so Safari is opened, and let's go to Google. So here we are at Google. Uh, let's go to our website, gumballtech.com. Now, in the on a real iPhone and on a, the iPhone simulator, it goes to the mobile version of gumballtech.com. In the iPad, it goes to the full version. Scrolling is a bit nicer. You just like flick your finger and it uh, seems to scroll up and down more and smoother. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Multi-touch is still here. Uh, let's look at the bookmarks. So here's your bookmarks menu. You could edit out what you want, add your new folder, whatever. Here's the big uh, keyboard. Uh, let's go to Apple's website. Looks pretty nice. It scrolls really nice. Uh, let's check out YouTube and see what that looks like. Here we are on YouTube.com. Now let's click on a video and see what happens. Okay, so you can't look at YouTube videos from YouTube.com apparently. Now what you just saw right there was the opening of a new tab. Uh, here's what your uh, tab interface looks like. Go to a new page. Let's get some websites up here. So this is pretty much what your uh, tabbed interface looks like. It's pretty straightforward, you know. You have your X's on the upper left corner of each tab and clicking on that X throws it away. Um, so let's try and send an, an email. Uh, people have been able to bring up the new mail interface. It doesn't actually open the mail app, it just uh, brings this up right here. Now it doesn't give me any option for a from field, so it says sent from my iPhone instead of sent from my iPad. Let's see what clicking on send does. Well, it doesn't seem to do anything. So that's pretty much a quick look at Safari on the iPad. Uh, scrolling through web pages is pretty nice. It loads the full web page instead of the mobile version too, which is pretty good. So thanks for watching. Leave any comments in the description. See you later.